all right so i just had my plant starts out here on the deck on the bottom deck and piper my dog comes through and decides to eat one of my brussels sprouts and my brussels sprouts aren't doing that great to begin with and i sure don't need him eating them oh my gravy he's such a good boy but he's never ate a brussels sprout before well hey y'all it is me it is mark and I'm sitting out here in front of my Aros Compollo pepper, and I wanted to show y'all something. I brought this out. This is all the Aros Compollo peppers that I have harvested this season, well, with the exception of two, that I dried down and made a powder out of. This is some amazing seasoning powder. So I wanted to show y'all this bush because we've still got tons on here and we've got a lot of time left for these to go ahead and get ready so I'm expecting another huge flush of peppers off of this pepper plant and I'm gonna dehydrate them again and grind them down to a powder and I'm gonna take a lot of those seeds too and I'm gonna save those seeds for next year because this is the only Arles Campoyo pepper plant I've got this year but I love it so much that I'm gonna grow several next year, just so I can get a lot of the seasoning powder. I love these peppers. So that's that that I wanted to show y'all. I think, what pepper is that? Oh, this is not, I'm sorry, I've got two of them. I've got two of those Compolio peppers. So there's some other kind of pepper right there. Huh, just found that one. So. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm fixing to do with some of these beds here, but we're going to go around and look at the okra. So let's go do that. I thought we'd stop and look at these green beans. I planted a few green beans out here, and they're just starting to put on. So looks like about tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to be able to come out here and pick all these green beans and I'll save them in the crisper until I have enough to put up uh, two or three quarts. So that's doing good. I ripped out some of them accidentally when I ripped out the tomatoes, but oh well. You live and learn, don't you? But yeah, I like these. So we're going to be able to have at least, at least three more quarts of green beans to put in the pantry. Okay, now here I'm sitting in front of the flat leaf parsley and once I took the squash out, these were kind of spindly because the squash had really covered them up, but I clipped them off about that tall and look how they've grown back. Now, our winters are so here that we will have this flat leaf parsley just like this and fuller all the way through next spring. Next spring, it'll flower and go to seed but then I'll rip it out and replant. We love parsley. And it's so easy to grow that we actually hate having to go to the grocery store and buy it because we can grow it so easily. Love parsley. The butternut squash are still producing fruit. Now, those aren't gonna have enough time to ripen, but I wanted to show you all right here those are the zinnias that have reseeded. Probably get a good flush of blooms off those before. There's another green bean that I'll be able to pick green beans off of. Loving that. These butternut squash, these are almost ready. I've got two right there. One fell off actually. I've got those two. And I've got this one back here. So I'll have three more butternut squash. Now these, see these? <laughs> this is my purple potted pole beans. And what I've decided to do is just let the rest of these hang because I love these so much this year. I'm just gonna let the rest of these hang, dry up, go to seed. So we'll have loads of seeds to plant for next year because I'm gonna plant these in a couple of places next year. I absolutely love them now. I also have, y'all know I told you my rattlesnake pole beans didn't put on near as well as I wanted them to, but as they're drying out here, 
and getting a little bit bigger, they're not good for green beans. But I do like to come out here and take these beans out of them and just eat them as a snack. They're so good. The other night, I found myself out here at 1.30 in the morning just picking these rattlesnake pole beans and having me a midnight snack. They're so good. Can y'all see me? Hope so. Anyway, how many of y'all go out in your garden and just eat? One of my favorite things. Love it, love it. Let's look at okra. How about it? I've picked y'all up. Some of these got way too big. That's okay. I'm gonna leave them on here and I'm gonna collect the seed. And if I can find somebody doing a seed swap, that's probably how I'll use them. But I got some out here right now. You can see those are ready to pick. And I've still got it coming on. And like I say, I've got another month. So we'll be able to get quite a bit of okra from around here too. Because look at those. They're putting on. That will be ready tomorrow. More seed pods. That will be ready tomorrow. So maybe I'll just wait and come out here in the morning. Ooh, I don't know. Look. I need to get these. Get these now. Y'all look. This is bindweed. It's exactly what that is. Blooming bindweed. There's that squash from the backside. Okay, y'all. I wanted to sit down here with this and explain a few things. Now, let me try to talk a little bit louder because I know it. I don't have a microphone, so. This is just garden magic from the big box store, compost and manure. The reason I use this, because it's not the best, is it? I mean, if you could make your own compost and have space to make your own compost to do your beds with, that would be the best thing to do. But here where I live, I don't have a lot of space. So I have to use what I've got and the resources that I've got. So, this weed. That's the one thing that I can grow. I promise you that. Your boy can grow some weeds. Um, but I'll come through and pick all that out. But anyway, I, I see a lot of people saying, oh, I can't grow a garden because I can't, I don't have any space to, to do it in. If you've got a back porch or a patio, you've got a garden. Um, I'm very fortunate that I have these uh, flower beds out beside my house that I can grow in raised beds. So I'm fortunate about that, but I can't go and plant you know, five 30 foot rows of corn like I would like to because I don't have the space. But this bag manure, I'm just using this as an example. If all you've got is your big box store, use it y'all, grow something. I'm gonna amend these beds. I just ordered some um, fertilizer from MI Gardener, some Trifecta Plus, and I'm gonna plant all my fall plants with the trifecta plus and this um compost manure so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get out here and clean out all these beds pull all these weeds put about two or three inches of this compost manure over the top of them plant my stuff and then i'm going to mulch over it with some straw that i've got left over from this spring and hopefully i'll have a fantastic winter garden with cabbages uh, broccoli, cauliflower. I'm going to try my hand at Brussels sprouts again. I'm going to try my hand at kohlrabi. Um, but I'm just going to grow that in these first two beds. Those other beds that I made this spring, I'm just going to let those sit over winter. I'm going to mulch them really, really good. I'm going to uh, come back next spring with some of this compost and manure before I get ready to plant my spring beds. And so that's, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I just want y'all to grow something. Let me know in the comments. Um, what do you use? Um, do you do you, can you do you are you lucky? Blah 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 blah. Are you lucky enough to have a place that you can get some really good stuff, or are you like me? Do you have to buy um, from the big box stores what you need? I'm just telling you something. This is not the best, but it's better than nothing at all. I guess that's where I was getting at. 
It's not the best, but it's better than nothing at all. Hold on just a second. I see something. Do you see that bell pepper? Can y'all see that? Oh, it's right there. It's gorgeous. I'm going to give it another day. Anyway, let's see what else we can get into. I'll tell you what I'm going to do while I'm here. This grass, this grass right here, I cannot stand this stuff. The roots will grow to China. Get this out. There we go. Lovely. Look, if I start doing this right now, that's how I'll end up doing. Do y'all want to see my brassicas? You want to see them? You know the ones I started in my office? Let's go look at those. Y'all look at this basil. What I've got to do is I've got to come through here and harvest all this. And I'm going to make pesto and freeze pesto so we can have pesto for um, a lot of stuff during the winter. This is so fragrant. Oh, it smells so good. Beans. Beans. I see more beans. All right. Now, y'all remember when I started all the seeds in my office. This is all those seedlings. So, however long that's been. How long has it been? What, four weeks? Five weeks ago? Something like that? Um, I can go back and look. But, these are the Brunswick Cabbage. So this is the cabbages that I'm starting. So there's six of those. Now I wanted to show y'all, I up-potted all of these, but I did not up-pot these. Now this is the snowball cab a snowball cauliflower. Yeah, snowball cauliflower. You can see the difference in the size of these plants once you up-pot. So these have not been up-potted. I'm just gonna plant these straight out in the garden, just like this, they'll do fine. But these ones I up-potted to get a little more size on them. So, that's the difference in that. Now, over here, I've got Flame Star Cauliflower. Now, my cauliflowers, for some reason, something got on them and ate some of these. I think that was my dog. Um, but I've got a few of these. Some of them aren't doing that great. We'll see how it gets on in the next week, because these will, are going in the ground one week from today. These will be going in those beds that I just told you that I'm gonna um, put all the nutrients back in, put in that compost manure, and all these will be going in that. Now, also, my Brussels sprouts did not do well. This is the one that's doing the best, but I'm gonna continue to baby them. I may actually, because I've got like six more weeks before my first frost date, I may actually try to uh, plant some of these direct seed in the ground just to see how it goes. Or I may start a few more, who knows. But anyway, here is the Godzilla broccoli. Some of these did very well like this one here this one here all of these did very well some of these not so much at all but you know you never know what you're going to get so the collards the top bunch collards are doing so well i'm going to be eating some collard greens this fall yes and this winter cannot wait for that i'm also going to try my hand at carrots but anyway y'all i know this was a short little video thank you for being so patient Ever since the days have started getting shorter, I don't get home until right when it gets dark, and I don't have enough light to film anything outside. So today is my day off, so I said I've got to film a video today to let my folks know what's going on. But anyway, if you like this video, give a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment box. Y'all please subscribe to the channel. I was looking at my analytics the other day, and over half the people who watch my channel are not subscribed. What? So subscribe, share my videos. I love y'all so very much. And... <coughs> And until next time, talk to y'all later. Bye!